What in the hell is this? It was just delivered, sir. Apparently the latest Mrs. Buchanan now ordered it. If she keeps this up, she'll become the late Mrs. Buchanan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, Asa, look, you've ruined our wedding cake. The wedding was last night. Well, yes, but the honeymoon has just begun, and I thought we could, you know, continue our little celebration over breakfast. Yes, just... Uh, that was no celebration. That was a wake. Oh, dear. Just cake. And to top it all off, the damn reporters have been calling me all morning. Some idiot tip them off about the marriage. Oh, well, that little idiot would be me. I just love spreading the news. It's sort of like, um, like icing <laughs> on the cake. Yes, now it's, yeah, it's just everywhere now. Well, you just pick up that phone and get rid of those vultures while I get rid of this one. Oh, Lisa. All rise. Case number 932, Holden versus Holden. Mr. Holden, where's your attorney? Uh, uh, he couldn't make it today, Your Honor. I'm representing myself. Oh, that's a terrible idea. You should have an attorney. That's your call. So where's Mrs. Holden? Uh, that's why we're here today, Your Honor. Roxy's deserted me. Hey, it's Roxy. Yeah, I want to thank you for giving me the heads up that Max is going to double-cross me. Don't thank me. Just keep your damn mouth shut about seeing me with Allison Perkins, or I'll shut it for you permanently. Hey, we're cool, bro. I'm not your brother. Hey, Maxie, I hope you like surprise parties. I was hoping you'd sleep in. Oh, RJ. Was it just a few weeks ago that everything was perfect? That I was in love with Antonio, Antonio was in love with me. We were planning our wedding, and my biggest problem was figuring out how to, how to address the invitations. And now... Well, things change. Yeah, I'll say. First, Antonio accuses me of practically accuses me of lying to give you an alibi. And then he attacks you right in the police station. Well, you know, uh, he couldn't prove that I was the bad guy, and he's not used to dealing with frustration. How did I ever think I could marry him? Because you loved him. And my guess is you still do. shoot out at Jessica's mom's cabin? You heard right. Well, what happened? Were you there? Yeah. But you're not hurt, are you? Are you okay? Not me. Oh. Oh, man, Mrs. Davids. Her husband. What? Are you holding up? He looks so peaceful, you know. With that little smile on his face. It just looks like he's having a lovely dream. See, I think if I keep talking to him, that maybe... Are you positive, Larry? I'm sorry, Vicky. They said they found my mom? That's right. They didn't say anything else. Is she hurt? She wasn't. No. Is, she, is she still Nikki Smith? No, baby. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm me. Nikki Smith is gone. I'm, I'm me again. Sounded important. What's up? This? What's this? It's a lighter. You said you loved me. I did. I mean, I do. Then why did you try to kill me? You shot Dr. Davidson? I, I, was, I was aiming at, at Allison Perkins. But I, I wound up shooting. It was, it was just a second. It was, it was a millimeter. I should have known he was behind her. How, how is he? He's in a coma. He's not going to wake up. All because I... I should have known. Come on, Antonio. You can't blame yourself for this, okay? It was an accident. Accidents happen. How do you know? Were you there? Antonio, could you step into my office, please? What you think? Why don't you just say it? You do still love Antonio. Of course I still love him. I probably always will. But it's not enough. It's, it's not enough. Not when he doesn't trust me. Not when he doesn't believe me. When I tell him you were with me when those women broke out of prison. Not when he could even think that I could lie about something like that. Well, if I weren't your father, none of this would be happening. You would still be happily planning your wedding. If you weren't my father, I never would have come to Landview, and I never would have met Antonio. But you are my father. And I love you. And I trust you. And there isn't going to be a wedding. That's a phone call. I've told you I don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah, I think you should take this, sir. Why? Who is it? The hospital. Apparently, they've been trying to reach you all night. Did someone unplug the phone system? If the board needs me for anything, uh, they can wait. It's not board business, sir. It's about your son. Which one? Dr. Davidson, sir. Something's happened to him. Isn't there anything they can do? No, Larry's talked to every specialist he could think of. 
the only clinic that would even consider taking him is in Switzerland, and they said only if we could get him there immediately. So that's what we've got to do? We are going to. But even so, they, uh, they don't hold out any real hope for reversing the coma. I'm asking you to grant me a divorce, Your Honor, on the grounds that uh, Roxanne has abandoned the marital home. And you have no idea where Mrs. Holden is? Not a clue. I, I haven't seen or heard from her. The truth is, uh, it, it's very hard for me to accept, but I don't think Roxanne wants to be found. And why not? Well, she's really wanted out of this marriage since just after the beginning. Obviously, she lacked the courage and decency to uh, tell me to my face. Instead, she disappeared. Cowardice, like lying, is a character defect I absolutely despise. I, I don't blame her, Your Honor. I mean, she is who she is. I'm just looking for a little closure for myself so that I can go on with my life, hopefully to find someone, someone, someone who loves me, someone who respects the sanctity of marriage the way that I do. That's why I'm begging you, begging you to grant my divorce. Hey, wait just a second. Rocky, home. What happened? You know exactly what happened. And now the judge is going to know it, too. told you that was was it Natalie you know what it doesn't matter who it was because whoever it was was lying to you no one told me I figured it out for myself okay Jen you're upset okay you're very upset and it's making your mind play say that I'm not a little idiot you obviously think I am okay, hey I didn't mean that I just I just meant why would you do it why would you try to kill me I didn't Jen I swear I would never do anything to hurt you well you did because I almost died in that fire weren't supposed to be there. The house was supposed to be empty. So you weren't trying to kill me. You were just trying to burn down my father's house. Yeah. Why? To make you see the truth. What truth? The truth about Christian and Natalie. That he would take her side no matter what against you. Even if she went psycho and tried to burn down your house. You didn't set fire to my house. You did. Okay. You stole her keys. Yeah, that's true. And, and it was wrong. It was bad, okay? But I had to do it. I had to make you see the truth. I had to show you how much I care about you. By burning down the house. And setting up Natalie. Don't you see? I love you so much. More than Christian ever could. You wanted me off the case. 
You said I was too personally involved. Too desperate to prove RJ helped Lindsay and Allison escape. You still think that, don't you? You think it made me sloppy, and that's why Ben got shot. That's up to internal affairs to decide what I think really doesn't matter. It does to me. I've got to go to the hospital to say goodbye to my brother. now is Ben. But I'm losing him. I can't imagine what you're going through to come back, missing all those months to this. I don't know. It's as if I've been asleep. But this most most definitely is not waking up to a bad dream, is it? I don't know. It seems like yesterday that Ben and I first met. The day I walked into Crossroads. It's so wrong. Yes, it is, Vicki. It is. It's so wrong. I can't believe that I'm losing my son all over again. He loves you so much. And you. He's very proud to have you for a mother. Sorry, you have to go through this. It's not your fault. Well, things will get better. I know. You know, when I was little, whenever something would go wrong, I always think, if only I had my father, everything would be okay. And now I do. <sighs> the delivery I I just have to go sign for it I'll be right back I'll be here oh my god detective Antonio Vega under investigation and shooting trying to help Antonio. Well, you can't. Nobody can. I can try. Did you ever shoot someone? Did you ever put someone in a coma? I left the gangs because I didn't want that kind of life. And now... It's not the same thing, Antonio. Dr. Davidson. He trusted me. Hey, as a man and as a cop, he, he trusted me to bring back his wife and to get her back safely. But my focus, my focus wasn't there. All I could think about was nailing RJ. And now, now Dr. Davidson is in a coma. 
It is my fault. Mine. So do me a favor and shut up about stuff you don't understand. Look, Antonio, I, I, may, I may never have shot anybody, but I do understand what it's like to blame yourself for something that you couldn't help. Get out! Get out! Not I don't want you here! Hey, come on, I'm your brother, man. I want to help. I love you. Then if you love me, leave me alone. Christian ever could. And you proved that to me by almost killing me. I saved you. From the fire that you started? From a cheating boyfriend. Where was Christian that night, anyway? He was at the Bayberry Inn. With Natalie. Hey, shut up about that. Yeah, well, it's not gonna make it any less true. He was in Natalie's hotel room. In a romantic little inn. I don't care if they were honeymooning in Niagara Falls. This is not about Christian and Natalie. It is about you. And you are stalking me. Hello? Dad, this really isn't a good time. What? Oh, where are you? Okay, I'm coming right now. What is it? I have no time for this. I have to go. Oh, hey, wait! Where are you going? I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about the fire? Roxy, what's going on? I will do the questioning, Mr. Holden. I take it you are Mrs. Holden? Ow! <laughs> yeah, that's right, Your Honor. Um, are you aware that Mr. Holden claims that you deserted the marital residence? Yeah, well, if he says I haven't been around, that's true. Well, would you care to elucidate? No, I think I can hold it in. Why haven't you been around? Well, you see, Your Honor, you know, I was trying to do a good thing. I brought this uh, Woman of the Year award over to Ray or Gretel or whatever her name is this week, Cummings. And when I got here, Allison Perkins, the escaped convict, was here, and she took this, and she whacked me on the head, and then she dragged me down to a rat-infested basement, and she tied me up, and she threatened to kill me. Your Honor, she's a natural-born liar. Uh, can you corroborate this? Can anyone back up your story? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, there was a, a lot of press and reporters and things like that. It's going to be in all the papers, but that is not the worst part. Well, then, please, continue. Well, the worst part of it is, is that, um, you know, I'm fighting for my life, and, you know, finally I managed to get my cell phone, and I get my loving hubby on the phone, and I tell him what's happening, and I beg him to help me. And you know what the bum does? He hangs up on me. It was a bad connection. You know how cell phones are. I called three times. You hung up on me three times. Bad connection three times, Mr. Holdit? Yeah, well, you know, Your Honor, that really wasn't the worst part, because uh, after I got rescued, with no help from him, he takes me to a bar and he gets me soused. So I'll uh, sleep through this hearing. But, you know, it's a good thing that my guardian angels are working overtime because they woke me up and that's how I was able to drag my butt over here. Mendacity, Your Honor, Mendacity. That's a complete fabrication. You know, I had some hang-ups. You know, everybody gets those. It could have been her. could have been wrong numbers. And I certainly never knew anything about her being supposedly trapped in some rat-infested basement. You know, you lie like a rug. No, you, I, you know, just ask the commission. You know, Bo Buchanan was there when Max found out. Go ahead, ask him. That can easily be checked, Mr. Holden. I take the fifth. You know, I don't think this is time for you to be thinking about booze, Maxie. I've heard enough. It uh, appears that Mr. Holden has been perpetrating a fraud on this court so that he could get a favorable Divorce no, judgment. No, Your Honor, that was not. It is my, my turn. In spite of everything, I'm going to grant the petitioner's request 
for a divorce. What? Thank you. What? Don't thank me yet. No, don't thank me yet. I am going to grant the divorce, but I am awarding all marital assets to the respondent. Mrs. Holden. Where is everybody? What the hell's going on here? Switzerland, they'll be able to keep him comfortable. Ben, son, you listen to me. You are a Buchanan. If anybody can beat this, it is you. You're going to have the best care. I promise you that. The absolute best. The, uh, <clears throat> the ambulance is here, ready to take him to the airport. Can we wait a couple of minutes? Jen is on her way. He's her uncle. Yeah, let's look, uh... Vicky, have another moment with Ben. This is not goodbye, okay? Because I'll be right behind you. And I'm gonna make sure they take good care of you at the clinic. Because, frankly, I don't care what the odds are. You are going to beat this. I didn't fight so hard to come back to you just to lose you again, you know. Besides, our two-year wedding anniversary is coming up in less than three months. And I fully expect to be dancing with you at Crossroads. Because you promised you promised me that we would, okay? And we agreed never to break our promises. Ben, it's almost two years. It's just the beginning. I almost forgot. Wait a minute. The nurses took this off you last night.
everything? Everything. Millhouse, break bar, all the bank accounts, all the marital assets. No, no, you can't do that. I didn't know what I was doing. I should have had a lawyer. Oh, but you were advised of that, Mr. Holden. I changed my mind. I want to stay married. I'm withdrawing my petition. Well, it's not up to me anymore. It's your call, Mrs. Holden. But I would advise you to take the money and run as far away as possible from this bum. Roxy, hey, come, come on. on, hey, what? come on, you can't do this to us, hey, you know. Remember Vegas? You know, Judge, sometimes you gotta follow your heart. Oh, you think I'll take the bum back? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, that means I get the man and the money, right? Huh. Case dismissed. Sorry about Dr. Davidson. That was so horrible, Christian. I mean, he just survived almost being killed by Nikki Smith and then to wind up shot in a coma. This isn't fair. Is there any chance that he could come out of it? They are um, sending him to a special clinic in Switzerland. They don't expect anything. Your mom must be flipping out. At least she's back to being picky. Yeah, yeah, at least that's something. Christian, she said that she loves me and that she needs me. That's terrific. I mean, I felt kind of stupid caring so much about stuff like that when Ben's feeling. No, don't, don't, don't feel stupid. You're not stupid either. I'm the one who feels stupid. Thinking I could help Antonio? You know, he's the one that shot Dr. Davidson. I know, but it was an accident. That's not the way Antonio sees it. He won't even talk to me. Maybe he just needs some time alone. You know, he's got to work through things. Natalie, he's my brother. What am I supposed to do when he's trying to work things through? Maybe you could talk to a friend. I mean, it sure worked for me. Thanks. But, um, not now. Christian. I'm always available. As a friend. Natalie, you don't have to say that. We both know that we're a lot more than friends. Vicky, I, I am so sorry. I feel, I feel I, I somehow set all of this in motion when I brought out Nikki Smith that day. It was not your fault. You had no way of knowing. I mean, you did your best. Your best wasn't good enough, was it? 
Renee. Was it? Gretel. Gretel? What are you talking about? Vicky, darling, there were some interesting developments while you were away. Why don't you fill her in, Gretel? Start with telling her how you're not really Ray Cummings, you're not really a therapist. Go on, tell her. Tell her how you weren't really qualified to be a therapist at all. Much less fool around with something as dangerous as bringing a one of her 